everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how I put a really cute little label decal on this sweet little jar that I have. Valentine's Day is quickly coming up so all of the Valentine's Day stuff and decor is coming out and I found this in all my Valentine's Day um, decor and I believe I got this at Target a couple years ago but I will try to find something similar to link below for you guys if you guys want to create a cute little candy jar for yourself. So this is going to be a really quick and easy little project. All you're going to need is some vinyl and you're only going to need a little bit so this is a wonderful project if you have some scrap vinyl lying around. Um, you'll need your Cricut scraping tool, you'll need your Cricut, Cricut weeding tool, and then we're also going to prep the surface with some rubbing alcohol. So let's pop into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to show you how I created the design that's going to go right on this little jar. Here we are in Cricut Design Space. This is actually going to be really easy because the way I'm going to make this label is I'm going to actually just use images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this image button, which is the fourth down on the left. I'm going to click images. And what I did was I just typed in sweet. I'm going to try to make a label that says sweet treat. So I typed in sweet and what you can do is you can just scroll through and sometimes I like more than one. So what you can do is just, you can click everything that you like and it will put it down here in your little queue. So I like this and I like this. So what I then will do is hit insert images and both of them will pop up in the little canvas area. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into images and I'm going to type treat. And this is the one that I really like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit insert images here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the two images so that it makes one little label. I really like to combine like a block text and a script text. I think it's really fun to do. So now I just need to decide whether I like this suite or this suite better. So how I decide is I literally just visually put them where they need to go and then see which looks better to my eye. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one and go with this. Okay, now you can also add other things, like you can add hearts, um, the, the possibilities are endless. I am a little bit more simplistic in my di designs and I like things to just kind of be um, minimalistic. So I'm just gonna go with this, if this looks good to my eye, but feel free to take a step further and add hearts or add little candy icons, whatever you'd like. So I also did measure the jar before um, coming into design space. And I know that I don't want this to go any bigger than three inches in width. So what I'm gonna do is I want them, uh, I want both of these images to print as one. I want this all to be one label. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it here and I'm gonna go down here to weld. And this just puts everything together as one image. Let me hit back. Before, they were two different images. You have the treat image up here and the sweet image. Again, I just highlighted both and I hit weld. Then you can see over here in your layers panel, it's now one image. Okay, so I am going to cut this out of white Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. And I'm gonna size this so, oh my gosh, actually that works perfectly. I think it's three inches perfect, um, but it's a little Big, oh no, I wanted three inches in the width, excuse me. So I'm gonna just go up here to the width and do three. Okay, and that makes the height about an inch and a half. Let me measure. That's gonna be perfect. Okay, so I have everything measured how I'd like. I have it printed how I want. So I'm just gonna go over here to make it and it's showing me that I'm just gonna put it right on my mat. I'm gonna hit continue, and then it's going to find my maker. And the next step will just be selecting vinyl. Okay, let's cut this out and we'll put it on our jar. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my mat, and I'm just going to put my vinyl right up in this top corner. 
actually I'm gonna do the other corner just because it has the inches and I want to make sure yeah this piece is plenty big and it's a new mat so it's really sticky and ready to go so I'm just gonna use my scraper tool and just make sure that it's all down and my Cricut is flashing the load button so it is ready to go and again I just there we go I just measured with my little Cricut uh, measuring tape to decide that three inches was as wide as I wanted to go I think that visually looks really good on the jar okay so while that's cutting, I'm going to just prep the surface with some rubbing alcohol. This has been in my <clears throat> Valentine's decor box for quite a while actually. So I want to just make sure that I get all of the dirt and grime off of the jar to make sure that it sticks really well. Okay, so I'm just going to unload my mat, and I'm going to turn my mat completely over and remove the mat from the vinyl. Again, this is a really sticky brand new mat, so it has a lot of stick to it, which can make taking vinyl off of the mat a little bit tricky. Okay, I still have a lot of vinyl left over, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that off, that way I can take it right back to my leftover pieces box and I can use this piece for something else. Okay. Now I'm just going to use my Cricut weeding tool. I love this tool. It's pretty much a game changer for me. I wouldn't be able to craft without it. And I will poke the cop corner and just get it started. So I'm going to go really slow because this is a smaller project and the text is pretty delicate. It's durable, but you don't want to go so quickly that you accidentally pull up a letter. Okay, and then now that all of the um, background is taken off, I can just go back in and weed all of these little insides out. they're teeny tiny so sometimes it's gets a little tricky pulling them up but just take your time okay okay so that's what that looks like how cute so we're also going to be using this transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl. It's actually a masking transfer tape. So we're going to use this to pull our design off of the carrier sheet and place it onto the jar. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of this off. And it's so thin that you can rip it, so do whatever you like. I kind of like cutting so I have some nice clean lines to work with. So I'm just going to use my Cricut scraper tool to just really get that down. And again, this vinyl is the Oracle 651 white vinyl. I buy this in bulk because I do a lot of projects with the white vinyl. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to trim this bottom piece. I'm just going to turn it over and I keep this weeding tool really handy during this process just in case some of the pieces are still sticking on the carrier sheet. So I try to use that just in case some pieces don't want to come off just to kind of help nudge them along. 
in, just like that. Okay. So for the most part, that's coming off really easy. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm actually going to use my large scraper tool and my small scraper scraper tool just to kind of wedge my jar into place here. That way I'm not trying to hold my jar and apply the vinyl at the same time. Just kind of gives me a third hand. Okay, and I'm just going to... Once I have it placed where I want it, I'm just going to rub the middle and then I can take my scraper tool at this point and I'm just going to then rub to the sides. Sometimes it's kind of easier to get it all down with your finger and then go back with your scraper tool and really get it down. Okay, and then you're just going to grab a little corner and peel it off. This is the most exciting part. All right, there is the final. Let me see if I can put my hands behind there so you guys can see it really good. That's the final project. So now I have to run to Target and get those cute little holiday M&Ms. I love them. They're like pink and red and white they're so cute and they always look so cute in this jar i always put them in every year and now that i have two little ones running around i'm sure this is going to empty very quickly so there you have it i can't um i didn't time myself but that was probably a project under 10 minutes so that will be a really fun little idea for you guys if you guys just want to have a little cute valentine's decor with some sweet treats inside all right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and you can also subscribe so you are ready to go for the next craft I'm going to do. And if you hit the little bell, you'll get a um, notification every time that I post a video. That way you're not missing out on any of the upcoming crafts. All right, guys, happy Valentine's Day.